God bless all here. I am Francis. You call me Francis of Assisi. I've come all this way through time and distance to talk to you about this nativity scene behind me. This is the 800th anniversary of the very first nativity scene. A nativity scene used to remind us of Jesus' birth. People didn't celebrate Jesus' birth with nativity scenes until I started the very first one in Italy. I love Jesus and want you to love him too. To Jesus' birthday, when he came to us as a helpless baby, to teach us about love, to teach us about trust, to teach us about caring for the helpless. Let us relive that moment. It is a dark night in Bethlehem. A young couple settle into a cave that shelters animals. They are grateful that the innkeeper let them use his animal shelter to shield them from the wind because the inn was full. What would these people tell us about their feelings? They will speak to us today from long ago. Welcome, Belgrams. God has given me the gift of protection, protecting new baby, his new baby, his mother. Come meet us, meet the others. so happy to see all of you. Thank you for coming. I want to know all of you better because my baby son and I love you. I'm a teenager like many of you. I trusted God when he told me I was going to bear his son. Even so, I was very apprehensive because I was pregnant without a husband. But then I traveled right away to see my older cousin Elizabeth. Elizabeth was old and I was young, but we had a lot in common. And what a relief it was when she understood that I was pregnant with God. What a blessing that was to be with her. Well, everything turned out pretty good. And Elizabeth had her baby and I went back home. Then, when I was home, things got tense again. I could tell that my fiance was worried about my pregnancy. By then I was about three months and starting to show. But then God blessed us both. And he told Joseph that 
I was carrying his very own son and that he should protect both of us. And that's exactly what he did. God has been so good to me. My son's birthday was a very special day. The angels came and God surrounded me inside and out. And others came too. Come and meet them. You have all seen my statue before now, but you do not know my name. My name probably matters only to me and my family. But in a way, I represent all of you here today, for we are all searching for God's healing. So I will tell you a story about how this healing happened to me. As a shepherd, it is, it is very lonely out here in the, in the dark and the vast sky, protecting my sheep. It was there that I saw all the angels in the sky that directed me here. At first I was very scared, but then I became hopeful because it was here that he saw the baby. It was here that the all-powerful God became small and helpless. My healing came because I saw how it happened. It happens by loving and protecting those who need our help. So I hope you can see what I saw that night so long ago because it could happen to you tonight. Welcome, children of God. I am so glad that I am here today. I am a king and a priest, and I have traveled so, so far with my fellow kings and priests, for I am Baltazar, and I have traveled with Melchior and Caspar, and we have come a long way. We have suffered hardships and obstacles, but we were given the gift to look to the sky and follow a star in our hearts. Our hearts knew that God was, he was planning something big. So something very big that each and every human being ever born would be affected by what God had planned and what he was doing. And so we have traveled here. I begin and end and think of your hearts hoping that you see and feel what I see and feel. We have been called to guard our eyes, to guard our eyes for what we are allowed to see in our ears for what we are allowed to hear and to guard our hearts from the evil lion that roars seeking to steal our soul. God's love and God's mercy is poured out like an ocean, un unmeasurable ocean, unmeasurable ocean. So as we come together today, there's a gift, there's a choice. It's called free will. Free will that he gives us a choice Shall we come and bring the gifts, some tangible and some intangible? For he has given us the choice to give us the greatest birthday gift we could give the child. And that would be to give him our hearts. Simply from us. Simply to him. For I come today and we bring the gold, the frankincense, and myrrh. But truly, we bring our hearts and we cry out to the world. I hope you see what we see.
Do you see now why I started the nativity scene for people? I wanted the people then and you now to see what really happened that night. It seems a long time ago, but really it's right here and right now for every one of you. See Jesus' birth with new eyes. Give Jesus your heart on his birthday.